Hello and welcome. My name is Tristan, and I am the product manager and one-sixth of Team Rhyme Schemes. Uh, together, we embarked on a journey to present our site, Music Box. Um, as avid music lovers, many of us often find ourselves in search of fresh talent that resonates with our tastes, and discovering new artists can be a pretty daunting task. Um, as well, not every recommendation uh, hits our mark. So what we did was draw from our own experience and leverage our coding skills to create a platform to bridge this gap. So the purpose of our website is to help users discover up and coming artists based on current artists they already admire. You can kind of think of this as like a musical matchmaker tailored to individual taste. It's our hope that this platform not only introduces users to amazing new artists, but also supports said artists and their journey to fame. I'll now actually turn it over to Contavious to further discuss our design. Hello, everyone. My name is Contavious, and I will talk about the design of our project. Um, in designing our application, we adopted the Model View Controller, or MVC, design pattern, allowing us to create a scalable and maintainable application. Keeping the MVC design in mind, the feature artists were represented by a model that would display to the, to the view the feature artists which is rendered at an endpoint created in our feature artist controller. Um, to build the backend, we use Spring Boot with an H2 database, Timeleaf, and Java. When the models represent our data, the controllers handle user interactions, and Timeleaf is used to inject the backend data into the view. On the front end, we crafted a user-friendly interface by using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, creating a visually appealing and intuitive interface for our users. So as you will soon see, when a user interacts with our feature artist page and selects an artist, the controller handles this request, updates data in the model, and our front end seamlessly displays to the user the recommendations of our fave new artists. Now we'll pass off to Kevin, who will explain how our team divided up the work. Hey, I'm Kevin, and I'm thrilled to share our journey of collaboration on this phenomenal project undertaken by our team. At the outset, we found ourselves facing the challenge of constructing the project's foundation without a clear roadmap. To tackle this uncertainty, we made a strategic decision to focus on building a solid backend infrastructure before delving into the intricacies of the front page. With our team of the six, we diligently divided tasks related to creating essential components such as the models, the repositories, and the controllers. With the backend components in place, we seamlessly transitioned to developing database structure. This database was created allowing a seamless access to a centralized text document, thereby enhancing readability for our code and economy, accommodating extensive artist biographies. Simultaneously, we dedicated ourselves to shaping the front-end framework, ensuring seamless integration with the database. Our goal was to establish a cohesive link between our various models and sharing a flow of information with, with the foundation solidified, we refined the web page's appearance, incorporating a wide range of features to enhance a user experience. Now I'll hand over the reins to Winston to delve deeper into our creative process. Hello everyone, my name is Winston. Um, our team was able to build this app by using a combination of team meetings and the GitHub project board. Uh, we used the project board to divide the weeks up into sprints and then delegate assignments to each team member. At least three times per week, we met with our scrum master with the intention of demoing our work from the current sprint and setting up the next sprint. We also each created branches to work on individual stories. We pushed and merged those branches and created pull requests to finalize the code. Between meetings, we use our Slack messaging app, messaging app to communicate by uh, giving updates on our work and to ask questions. One of the biggest obstacles we had was scheduling because everyone works full time and all of our schedules didn't align perfectly. So there were meetings that some people were not able to attend. And through this experience, we learned that communication is a major key to success and communicating our problems or our questions or our absences more may have led to less frustration and accomplishing more. And now I'll hand the presentation off to Denise.
Welcome. Hello, my name is Denise, and I'm here to share with you all the three ways in which our users can interact with our beautiful app, The Music Box. So first, we'll start with the guest enter. When guests enter in, they are limited to only one selection in order to see our favorite artists. They are able to see the featured artists and the genres. Next, we have our sign up. Our sign up allows users to enter in minimal information that is stored in an HTTP database so that when they return back, they can have a seemingly list entry into our site. That will occur at the sign up page. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. On the this page, because they're signing up, they're allowed to see three of our favorite artists. Now we'll go to the sign-in page. The sign-in page, once again, enters in the user's information that's stored in the H2 database. And as you can see, we do have an error page in case you enter in the wrong email address, I mean the wrong email address or password. Was it D. John? Okay, so once you enter in your information that's stored in the H2 database, you will be allowed to go to our featured artist page, which uses featured artists and the genre that they're popular in for our users to experience our favorite artists that we have selected. Now I'll turn the reins over to King that will dis that will give you a more um give you more information on how the app actually works. Welcome, everybody. I am King, and today I am thrilled to take you to a brief journey through the Music Box, our music discovery platform. You have up to three feature artists and their categories by the genres, and I need audience participation because um, what are your favorite genres? We got country, reggaeton, hip-hop, R&B, pop, and rock. R&B. R&B, okay. Good choice. Rock. Okay, good choice. Metal. You said metal? There's no metal choice, guys. <laughs> There's no metal. <laughs> we got pop and hip-hop and reggaeton and country. Do hip-hop, I guess. Okay, go to the recommendation page. Okay, so right now we're at the recommendation page and where you see the new feature of all this would include a picture, name, genre, bio, and even the YouTube video links. You can see this is the rock category right here. See hip hop right here and see R&B right here. All right, now we're going to go to the home page. Okay, now we're going to the bio. Okay, and this is our journey and after uh, four intense months of coursework and coding project, we joined forces to bring the music box to life, overcoming challenges, and welcome you to enjoy the results. All right now, we're going to the home page. Don't feel about. All right, and now we're at the about and meet the team. We are more than just a platform. We are a passionate team of developers who made the music box possible. Data that you can see the name, the role of each team members, whether they were back end and front end developers. All right, and thank you. And I hope you enjoyed the music box experience. Now, any questions about the music box and its features? <laughs> 